Hello everyone, my name is Rajesh and in this video we're gonna discuss about a customer journey where CRM can help you with. So let's begin. To understand the customer journey, uh, let us understand the lead life cycle first, right? So any customer to begin with, they become a lead. Let's assume that um, you have a business and you are selling a product or services to, to the world. Anybody who is interested to your business or services, we call them as lead. A lead can be generated from a different, different channel. Example, let's say I'm a lead. I'm interested to buy your product or your services. You have an email address, let's say info at the rate of your company name.com. And anybody who is interested to buy your product or services, they are actually sending you email, right? In the same info at the rate uh, your company name.com email. Address. And immediately that email has been captured in your CRM with and and the person who is actually sending you the email become the lead so email is a platform through which a business can generate lead next platform would be a website let's say you again have a website and because you are selling a product or services you must be having a website where you have listed your product and maybe in a website you have a form where the leads the prospect your customer can come and shows interest and uh, fill in the form right so it'll be let's say i'm a customer i'm filling up my first name last name uh, details which product i'm interested and submit immediately when i click on submit right i will be getting a thank you uh, message and uh, my details would be captured again inside your crm that's your second way to capture a lead third way to gather the lead data is let's say um, i as a customer I'm coming to your um, your showroom or whatever you're selling. I'm coming to your uh, your place directly and you are capturing my information into your CRM manually, right? So that's a manual lead, lead creation, right? Fourth one is maybe let's say uh, because you have a, uh, you know, a nice website, you must be having a mobile application which you have given to your customers and uh, all the new customers, all the new uh, leads or prospect, they're actually downloading your mobile application. And in the mobile application, you are, uh, you know, capturing your, um, uh, the leads data. The lead information must come from your mobile application to your CRM. That's another way to capture the lead. And the last option that we get, uh, more often we use this option is basically where uh, sometime I have seen, right? A lot of customers, they buy a bulk lead information, right? Uh, you can definitely buy customers data from somewhere, right? I hope you keep getting calls from the, the customer care, care where, you know, people try to sell you credit card or personal loan just because your data has been sold, right? So let's say a customer who is actually uh, purchasing list of leads information from another company, right? Excel file, suppose they have more than 10,000 leads information, right? And that leads data, that 10,000 lead data is supposed to go to NC Trainer uh, in the company CRM. So this is where you as an operator have to load a bulk lead information into your CRM. That's the, that's the another way to capture a lead information. Now, once your lead data is actually uh, there in your CRM, what is the next thing? Next thing is the lead assignment. Remember, whenever a business uh, gather the leads, definitely there will be multiple uh, sales executive who will be handling the lead. Let's say there are uh, 15 sales executives who are actually handling a customer and from different different zones. So let's say zone one has been handled by executive one, zone two has been handled by executive two, and any leads coming from zone three has been handled by executive three. Like that, like that is just going on from zone one to zone 15. Or let's say uh, any leads coming from different different cities. So every single city has been handled uh, by a sales executive. So whenever you find a lead coming from city A, uh, the lead should go to your uh, uh, executive A or it could be any criteria, right? So CRM is actually uh, the responsible software who, which handles your lead assignment. So any lead that has been onboarded into your CRM, CRM can have a business logic in the backend, which will check, okay, this lead is coming from zone one, let's assign this to executive one. Okay, this lead is coming from zone two, assign this to zone uh, executive two. Like that, whatever the assignment uh, uh, rule that you can set up in the CRM and the CRM will automatically assign the leads to the particular executives. That's, uh, that's the part of the assignment. Sometimes the customer, uh, want the customer who's, who are actually using CRM, they want the lead assignment to happen in a round robin fashion, right? Uh, maybe like there are 10 people and uh, any lead is coming to uh, uh, coming first, it will go to the first executive, second, go to the second executive, third, 
you will go to the third third executive if if the fourth executive is available then the, the fourth lead will go to the fourth executive or the fifth one this process will keep going this is called round robin process right where a lead can be assigned to an executive in a round robin fashion based on the availability right so these are the part of assignments and uh, this is again a crm job to take care of this lead assignment uh, part after the lead assignment is done what is the next next is the lead activities see people use crm businesses they use crm um, the reason is to capture the leads activities what are those activities for an example let's say i as a sales executive have interacted with the lead have called the lead and had some discussion right that discussion has to go in your crm so that the next executive when they call up the same lead can see the lead uh, conversations and then maybe call that uh, call that lead second the lead can have activities like uh, for an example let's say it's a it's a loan management company okay and uh, uh, this loan management company has got a uh, few leads and the sales executive has called the lead but before even the process with the loan and whatever service that they are offering let's say the background verification has to be done correct in this case the sales executive maybe has to create a task inside the crm and can assign the task to somebody in the uh, in the team in the background verification team or maybe the sales executive let's say have to follow up this lead um, after a certain time so the sales executive can create a task and assign to himself that on that particular date because the task has been assigned to him an email notification or notification will come which say that tomorrow you have to call this lead and need to follow up so a task or or logging a call would be a part of the activity the third activity would be uh, sometime what happened the sales executive uh, uh, maybe they need some information from the business and what they have to do is basically they have to jump into the outlook or maybe the gmail or the email server to send the email right now again this is a crm job to take care of the email conversations a crm can be configured to take care of this particular email conversation so i as a sales executive can send an email to the customer asking for some document inside my crm i don't have to jump into some other uh, email uh, email platform where i can send the email to the customer and i have to go get back to my crm so crm can be configured to do all this email conversation within this within the software okay so these are the activities of uh, customers uh, we cannot say uh, customer yet because these are the lead so far. Now the next part uh, of the lead is the lead status. Now lead status is, is one of the key field, right? So let's say where the lead has been created and initially the status is suppose uh, a prospecting, all right? And the lead has been contacted by the sales executive. So the status become contacted. Now the lead says that I'm not interested. Can you please drop off? So the lead status would be uh, uh, not interested. And the lead says, yes, I'm interested. So when the lead says, yes, I am interested, he or she is no more a lead now. He could be a prospect. Though he haven't, he or she, I mean the lead have not paid the money yet for the service or the, for the product. But the moment the lead says, yes, I'm interested, the lead has to be converted, right? So this is where the actual customer journey begins, right? Again, the, the lead who has been converted to a prospect has not paid the money. There are again, few steps that we, that as a sales executive, we have to perform, but the lead says, yes, I'm interested. So the lead has been converted. Now what happened after a lead gets converted? After a lead gets converted, the CRM will take care of which particular product that the sales executive is trying to sell to that lead or the prospect. Business might have multiple or several products or services that they're selling, right? So uh, a CRM job is to track which particular product or which particular services that uh, the sales executive is trying to sell to this particular prospect after the lead has been converted. Once the product has been tagged with the uh, to the particular prospect, once that part is done, now what next? Next is the quotation. See, quotation is a very important factor for a customer. So as a customer, I would definitely ask you, you as a sales executive, right? I, as a customer, I would definitely ask you to send me a quotation, a quotation, which will tell me, okay, at this much, um, I have to pay for the services for the product that I'm going to buy. All right. Now the quotation will have a detailed, uh, breakdown of the service of, of the, of the charges and the, uh, the taxes that you're taking and so and so now I, as a customer may, uh, accept the quote or may reject the quote or may ask you to revise the code. Maybe I, I need a little more discount. So you as a sales executive, again, revise the code, right? So that code 
journey is also a little uh, a journey right where a customer uh, sometime reject the code sometime ask the customer uh, service executive to resend the code with the new numbers right so that's basically a journey right once the code is is been accepted right once the code has been accepted what next next is the orders so the customer has paid the money by the way this is again the the payment part also can be configured uh, within crm right so uh, for an example this is again a customer uh, i just recently helped with right they they actually had a different system where they are capturing all the payment all the invoices data but what they wanted is basically their sales executive right supposed to send the payment link to the uh, customers <clears throat> And the customers was actually going to the payment link through their mobile phone or iPad or maybe uh, from a desktop and uh, making the payment. All right. Immediately once the payment is done, CRM was getting notified, customer was getting notified and email uh, uh, and, and the invoice, right? A proper invoice was getting dispatched to the customers. And at the same time, because they have another system, another uh, financial system where every single transaction data has to be stored, CRM was again sending that data to their financial system. So CRM can do all these uh, 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 invoice related, payment related transaction within, within the software itself. After the payment has been done, what happened is the order creation. So the customer who have paid the money for the order or service uh, for the product or services that they, he wants to buy, CRM will create an order, right? And maybe the order might have also a life cycle, by the way, it depends on the business. Sometime, let's say um, after the order gets created inside the CRM, a notification will go and the order will be dispatched and the product will be delivered. So there's, there's basically a life cycle for an order as well. If it is there, most of the customer has that life cycle. Few customer, they, they sell just a digital product for them. There's no uh, order life cycle uh, uh, as such. If any order life cycle is, is there in place for the business, definitely that can also be configured as part of the CRM software. So your order has been created after the payment, your pay, uh, your uh, order has been dispatched and completed. Right? Next would be a business might be uh, doing that cross sell or upsell right, to the existing customers. Just because the business has all the customer data, customer journey and uh, customer history, right? All the order history and everything inside the same CRM, uh, business can actually take a call whether to do a cross sell or upsell to the existing customer or not. And uh, and for the business, it will be really, very easy. Why? Because every single data you have already in the, inside the system. So maybe in this case, suppose, uh, you know, customer has to be, um, has to pay recurring uh, money, right? Maybe every month, uh, end of the month, invoice should go to the customer uh, or the payment link should go to the customer and the customer will immediately, uh, you know, go to the payment link and pay everything we can actually automate through a CRM software. So that's pretty much about the customer journey and each and every uh, steps of this journey that we have discussed, a CRM can help you with. Right? A CRM can definitely help a business uh, by doing all the business automations and uh, definitely uh, by capturing the customer's data, uh, customer's every single data inside the CRM. Okay. Now, if I just everything that uh, we have discussed so far, so very first thing is the lead. Lead may come from different, different channel. What are the channel we discuss? An email, a lead may come from the website. A bulk lead can be uploaded or a lead may come to the uh, uh, shop and uh, a manual uh, lead data can be created. After the lead gets created, what next? The assignment. So a CRM takes care of the assignment part where the leads uh, is being assigned to different, different sales executive based on the business criteria that, uh, that you define in the CRM. After the lead assignment is done, what next? Next is the business leads activity. So every single activity of the lead is been captured inside the CRM. And uh, after this lead says, yes, I'm interested, come to my home, give me the demo or come to my office, uh, give me the brochure or do the next step. The lead has to be converted. Now the lead become a prospect, though the customer, the lead has not paid the money yet, but it become a prospect. Now the prospect has again a journey, right? It starts with a status, maybe called prospecting. And eventually after giving like demos, demos and number of demos, the customer will be uh, close, either close own or close lost, right? So before the customer gets close own or lost, customer will ask you as a sales executive to send the quotation. You, the customer will review the quote, maybe reject or accept or revise, ask to revise. And then once the quotation part is done, the customer will make the, make the payment. The payment and the invoice and all the order management, every single thing can be automated within your uh, CRM. And in the end, because you have the customer data in your CRM, if uh, any cross sell or upsell is required for that existing customer, that also can be done within CRM. So that's all pretty much about 
uh, the CRM, how a CRM can help you in the customer journey. Thank you very much for watching this video. See you in the next video.